Hey, it's that damn monkey. Holy shit, it can talk. <clears throat> what, you have an ability? <coughs> no, not that. Psychic shockwave. That, and he teleports us conveniently back down to the pyramid. Yeah, well, I know. Hey, there's a snake. It was talking to me. Talking monkeys, talking snakes, everything talks. What, what am I, I mean? Am I in a Disney movie? So, yeah. This is the Psychic Shockwave, our auxiliary weapon. It's weaker than the uh, katan, or not katan, dagger, but it shoots at a much quicker rate. And is also needed to do stuff like, say, break down these barriers. Alright, pyramid time. I don't know what the hell these things are supposed to be. Skull beetles? Skull ladybugs? I don't know. Either way, it kind of jerks. Just kind of. Oh, Jesus, snakes. You'll note that the snakes in this game are pretty much the size of Mike or slightly bigger. Jesus Christ, that is fucking terrifying. Oh, dear. There's a fake floor and flames coming out of the goddamn floor. Oh, how brilliant. All right. Let's jump back. Also, those spikes are pretty inst pretty insta death. Yeah, very very insta death. Those spikes. Okay. Get that. Wait for the fire to go away. Jump back here. Voila! We're past that part. Now these. Zombies cannot be hurt with that weapon. You have to use your psychic shockwave. Because, as we all know, psychic powers destroy zombies. Utterly wreck them. Hug! Oh! Mummies. Big mummies and little mummies. This mummy always reminded me of the Michelin Man. Look at me, so rotund. Damn, what a big mummy. Ooh, medicine, I'd like that. These platforms are fun, too. You jump on one, and more warp in, but they disappear after a short amount of time. Disappearing, reappearing blocks. Oh, they are especially fun later on. Okay, kill the little mummy. Come on, little mummy. Little child mummy. And we're fight. And now we come across... Horus the God. I forget exactly what deity he is in Egyptian mythology because I'm ridiculous. I don't think it's the Sun God. I think that's Ra. Either way, all this guy does is just shoot bullets at you and run around. It's really easy. Hell, he might not even be Horus the Sun God. Oh, this is a cute one too. You had to hold the controls to avoid falling down that pit, you see. Also, we've got a rotating orb thingy. And conveyor belts. Boy, they really pull out all the stops. I'd like to stop and just point out for a moment that there are conveyor platforms in an ancient Egyptian pyramid. Then again, I just not 10 or 20 minutes ago delivered a fucking pizza to Cleopatra, so... And I wish this snake would come to my line of fire. Okay, thank you. Let's just walk over here. Oh, these things. You can't kill them. You just hit them and they sort of get stunned. It's really lovely. So just avoid them. Oh, the tile is down here. Oh, no, that's one thing. There's another one here somewhere over the rainbow. Okay. There we go. Just gotta get that question mark. Alright, we opened the door. See, it's a bit more creative with its puzzles. 
Ah, oh, Michelin Man. And beetles. Ladybugs. Whatever they are. And our good old friend, the Try Your Luck sign. If my old run the Star Traffic's one's any indication, this is gonna suck. Oh, no. No, I did okay. Extra life could help, seeing as how I'm prone to that. Oh, God, it's double the God action. These things, their shots are kind of hard to avoid. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Start. Christ. There we go. We got them. Oh, this is just lovely. I'm just switching to the Psychic Shockwave because it has a bit more range. And you would kind of like range when you're dealing with... Uh, their shots are sort of blending in with the conveyor belts, and that is kind of a piss-off. Oh, God. There we go. Okay, just get this. Get this last one. Now we just have to jump up here. Ah, there we go. All right. Let's go with the ladybugs. Some hearts. Now let's just make sure that there ain't anything else around here. Maybe there's a thing that opens up some medicine. Who knows? Also, fun thing to do. Woo! You can spin around. Okay. Let's move it. Oh boy, little mummies and zombies. Man, this is cool. It's like double zombie killing action. That was awesome. Hmm. Snake pattern. Well, this can't mean a thing. Either way, let's keep going. Oh god, Michelin mummies. Jesus. Be careful. Oh, this is fun. Oh, God. It's a bad god. It's a very bad Egyptian god. Hey, medicine. I might need that at some point in the future because I'm I an idiot and I run into flaming pillars. Oh, God. Look at that shit. It's so agile. What's in the treasure? Uh, what is that again? Alright, from here on you can just uh, uh, avoid this shit. To fight everything again in here, though. That's not hard because it's just slow moving zombies. We're back in the snake room. And this is more of an Indian tradition, but let's play the flute. And we literally charm snakes out of the walls. This is equivalent to that wonderful little uh, repeated puzzle you had to do in Star Tropics 1 with the rod aside, but this is the only time you ever use this flute item. Hey, Mr. Snake, would you, would you kindly get it an angle? I can thank you very much. Thank you for that. Okay. Well, this doesn't look ominous. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. Careful of the Michelin Man. I would like that health. But I would also not like to fall to my death. Can both happen? Oh my god, that was close. Jumping up is like the worst because you can't really gauge your distance accordingly. Jesus. Alright, time to use some of that medicine. Because that was just kind of dick. Hey, let's have an enemy guarding a platform. Do you need to jump on urgently? It, no. No. No, that is bad. That is a very bad little mummy. Alright, we'll get medicine to replace what I got.